Heat sequencers. Oh goodness, it's been a while for this one. Heat sequencers. Uh, we know what the heat sequencer is. Uh, we use it for high amperage loads, like our electric heat strips. Um, we know that the difference in a sequencer and a relay is that the sequencer is a timed action. Uh, multiple switches on here. Uh, we don't bring every load in at once. We actually time it, you know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds. Um, and the makes and models, you know, vary its infinite uh, possibilities. But, um, but just remember that a sequencer is a timed um, relay, a timed switching motion. Um, the coil, right, if you wanted to think of it, the coil is typically at the bottom. I've never seen one that's not, okay? And we can have multiple switches um, to control multiple loads, or you could even have multiple sequencers with multiple switches to control multiple loads. Uh, it just depends on um, the system that you're on, the specs that they, uh, they built it to, um, and... You just have to deal with what you what you have there, right? So our sequencer here, um, standard little sequencer, okay. And you can actually look on here. Um, the coil is at the bottom, and I say coil because that's what uh, I I tried to get across to you guys when we were learning thermostat terminals. Uh, but it's not actually a true coil. Um, it is a bimetal disc, and that's how um, that's how we get the timed action. As we apply 24 volts to the bottom, then the disc that's in here uh, slowly warps and flexes into shape to either allow uh, the contacts to close or to uh, cool down and, and, and it flexes the other way and it opens them back up. So um, just uh, M1, M2, you remember the way they do the switches. M1, M2 is the first switch. Uh, if you have more than that, they'll be labeled 3 and 4 or M3 and 4. There'll be some type of identifier. Uh, to let you know which switch is first. They always turn on in the same order, or they should if they're, if they're working properly. Uh, first switch, second switch, third switch, and when they cut off, they reverse that order. Okay, The first switch on is the last one off. Uh, and you'll remember that we typically have the um, two uh, male connections uh, or two spots for a connection. Uh, on the first switch because our blower comes on in the case of heat strips our blower comes on with the first switch and it cuts off uh, when that switch is the last one to uh, to open back so uh, just a little bit on the uh, the sequencer uh, I won't pop up uh, any paperwork but if you remember uh, about the rating of the switches uh, the first switch has a resistive rating uh, typically about 23 amps and that's for your heater. Uh, it also has an inductive rating of about 7 amps. And that's because we're going to put the blower on the first switch to close. Uh, the first heat strip that comes on is going to be responsible for uh, also powering, or that switch on the sequencer is going to be responsible for powering uh, our indoor blower. So that is heat sequencers.